hello my wonderful people good morning good afternoon good evening good night depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across my platform if it is your first time and you like what we are doing in this platform kindly like subscribe put on your notification bell to all notifications and i want to appreciate you too for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to disseminate information at the same time i put a disclaimer that here in linda's tv show we do not promote misleading information hate speech or violence we are here to educate and inform the members of the public about what is happening and also youtube to tell you that a call for self-determination is not a call for war great people i greet you all let's watch today's video and after that let's come to the comment section to air our mind and our opinion constructively thank you turn ipob into a political pressure group onion do refuse go and do your findings yourself onion do refuse and because of that because he joined the IPOB because he wanted to make money. Just like the criminals that he left in IPOB. All of these criminals, which are uh, 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 and the rest of them are loyal to Asari Dokubo. Forget the, forget the media stunt that they will come and say, hey, we don't want to expose you, Asari de Cuba, uh, distance yourself from this. I say, they allow you to him. We are the people, these criminals in the DOS, not to distance themselves from Soludo. What happened at last? They let that by themselves confess the same people who confess, who distance themselves from Soludo, let that by themselves confess that they are in Soludo's government. Please, those hitting the like button, hit once, not twice. If you hit twice, the one that you have hit before, you go away. Am I communicating? Am I preaching this holy gospel? As heavens may bear me witness. The name Asari Dokubo is a terror. He told Onyendu, let us manipulate these people. Let us manipulate the gullibility of these people. Make money. Onyendu said no. Only for Asari Dokubo to go on earth, start abusing Onyendu. What he held is that uh, Onyendu decamped and said that uh, we are bringing loyalty. I mean, we are going to be called the Jewish state. Now go and ask Asari Dokubo that started finding problem in the Jewish state as he was, as he told you people that it is what brought problem to him and Onyendu. Go and ask, Asari Dokubo did a video. The time that Onyendu said that we are taking the loyalty to Jew, we are going to be called Jewish state. Asari Dokubo did a video justifying what Onyendu said and said it is the people that can be able to help your people. Asari Dokubo did a video. So, after doing the video, did he even find fault in what Onyendu said? If that's what he told you people, oh, Onyendu said that he's going to call the Jewish state. How can you call it Jewish state? Where you have Islam, where you have Christians, where you have this and you have that. You want to call it Jewish state. Did you justify what Onyendu said or not? You justified it. So, when did you start having problem with it? I am a man I owe me Jews. I am doing this program to tell you that the name Asari Dokubo is a criminal, please. Anybody identifying with that name, Asari Dokubo, is doing himself very bad. Asari Dokubo is a criminal who only saw the exploration of innocent people and decided to take the opportunity of exploring innocent people. All of them in that creek, all of them in that creek, that claim that they are freedom fighters, they are criminals, including Tompolo. Read my lips. Read my lips. If you can, from, from resource control, from taking charge to becoming a pipeline security, what is criminality? What is criminality? This is official state-sponsored criminality. This is officially state-sponsored criminality. On this very platform, I call it spare the spare. 
no matter whose ox is gog, I call it spade a spade. Enriching your own self, your own self. The people that you claim that you are fighting for freedom for live in abject poverty. Or do you think that I don't visit creeks? Do you think that I don't visit those creeks? When I was there, I visited them almost everywhere. And if you have conscience, when you visit, you will shed tears. You, when you visit, you will shed tears. So, how did they start living large? And many of you do not know. I want to say something here. This is Truth Views TV. I preach the undiluted truth on this very platform. Because of loudness and how to... Did you know that Tompolo has private jets? The Mercy City, Mercy City, worry. You people know Mercy City, right? Those of you, that is the reason why I abuse some Christians at times. Most of you don't know the origin of Mercy City. Do you ask yourself, who is the owner of Mercy City? Do you think that is uh, Jeremiah? Jeremiah was uh, uh, as a Tempolo's boy. Most of you having Jeremiah as your, as, uh, as your status. Oh, the Papa Ajay. Jeremiah was a Tempolo's boy. A militant. The church was set aside by Tempolo. That necessity in worry. That is where they invested their illicit businesses, including in church. Yes, oh yes, read my lips, including in church. Here is Truth Views TV. That truth that is turning you and you preach it here. How ah, yes, you unfollow me and go get away and go back to the people brainwashing you. They started this. Uh, these criminals, these criminals in the creek of Niger Delta, they started telling you, oh, freedom of the, our people, da, 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 da. our people are suffering. How can we bear the people, so, people suffering? We are they not the same people that set church aside to milk those innocent people suffering again? Mercy City is being owned by Tompolo. Tompolo on Mercy City in worry. Jeremiah that you people are shouting daddy, 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 daddy was also a militant in the creek of Niger Delta. We will tell you, oh, why did you touch this? Touch the and do my prophet to know how I mean That is the nonsense that they give you. Here is uh, True Views TV. Please, I do not preach violence. But the truth, the, those most uh, painful truths, I will preach it here. I will preach it here. I am in my religious place. I am setting a pace. When they finish deceiving the innocent people in the name of fighting for uh, Niger Delta, then this person, good luck, entered the creeks of Niger Delta and brought Asari Dokubo, the same government that Asari said that he will never work for. Or didn't you hear Asari? That he will never work for any government unless his people got, got their freedom. That a mask love to this name called Asari Bukumbo, 208 years only. 121 hitting the like button all that's in the vote to hit the like button please the thing that ma a mask love asari Tokubo said that he will not fight a work for any government unless his people's freedom when good luck entered creek what did the asari de Cuba do they dropped everything they accepted pipeline. But these criminals are very fast in lying. Asari de Kuba told most of you that, uh, that, uh, that uh, he did not accept uh, pipeline security. He did not accept uh, pipeline security. But even Masop accepted pipeline security. 
The same contract that was given to Asadi, the group of them, was also given to Uwazirike. Was also given to Uwazirike. And most of them milk the innocent people just by telling you freedom, freedom, freedom. You people sold your conscience and believe in the freedom that they are bringing, not knowing that it was fake. David John, this program is live. For today's date is 16th, and the time now is 10 minutes, 10:30. Uh, 10:30. I am a man of remedies. This particular Asari Dokubo and the rest who think like him that are now living large, investment here and there, investment here and there. This same Asari Dokubo, after milking the innocent people, went to serve in good luck a very Jonathan regime. As what you people should remind me, there was what he was called for to serve as the same asario the same asari who told you people that he cannot serve in the government so this asari is right from time is two faced man two faced two faced two faced that's the masari I cannot work for government. He worked in government and denied that he never received money from him. Creek. Ask him, did you receive money or not? He received money for pipeline security and he is denying it. I have told you people time without number. Anybody that cannot tell you truth is not worthy to face leave you people. Then for me to tell you that Asari, what Asari cared about is money. Any VR money will come. So when APC came, Asari de Kuba, they met with Asari de Kuba. They met with Asari. Asari de Kuba declaimed that he cannot support uh, Buhari openly, but he will give them their support. Please note, because then he was acting as if he had that the loss. It was not that kidnapped him. Through Obasanjo. It was another order that he was kidnapped through Obasanjo during the time that Obasanjo was, uh, was uh, what are they calling it? Uh, president of the zoo. Am I communicating, please? Or everything that I'm saying, you can do your own finding also. You can do your own finding. I am. I accept a correction, please. You can do your own findings. I do not speak like DOS criminals that will be uh, speaking something that is out of history. You can do your own findings. He declared that he cannot uh, support Tunum uh, Buhari openly, but he can support it. Then when Buhari was campaigning, this uh, Asari Dokubo started attacking, uh, what are they calling him? Started attacking uh, uh, good, uh, bad luck, Ebele Jonathan, ideologically. But that attack came in full force. When, when you know he's a two-faced man. He is the same person that uh, told uh, uh, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan not to accept the, uh, that, uh, that Buhari rigged his election. A very two faced man. Very two faced man. If you eat the Yeba, he turned this way. Connie man, there is no way that you can hold this Asari. If you catch him here, he turn here. If you catch him here, he turn here. It is in the open. What I am saying, you can do your own findings. He is the same person that told you, good luck, not to accept it, that he should do, uh, enact a decree, what or that he told him then. He is the same person. He is the same person that turned around to abuse good luck, Ebele Jonathan, and called him all sorts of names. 
He is the same person. And said that, that good luck will be Jonathan refused to do anything for the Niger Delta people. But you that fought for the freedom of the Niger Delta people, what did you do for the Niger Delta people? It is it not on the creeks of on the bloods of innocent people that we are killed in Niger Delta that your recognition came that you started making billions and went to Benin Republic to build to build what are they calling it? Mm, to build what are they calling it? University. Instead of building it in the same Niger Delta Creek that gave you money, you went to Benin to build. Uh, University, am I communicating to the choir? I am in my religious place. Oh, I quack again. This same double face, I will still let her play his voice, but I'm laying a foundation to all his criminality. You know, these people they think that you forget because you forget something easily. They are able to manipulate you come sunshine because they know that you forget things easily. So every time they change because they know that histories are not being taught. There is nobody in that zoological republic that has a brain to hold history of what transpired. Even five years ago, they will always deceive the gullibles. Is it not this same um, Asari de Kuba? During uh, Buhari regime, he started. When Buhari started, he started, he doesn't shed Buhari. But in the middle of uh, Buhari's regime, he started shedding him. What happened to the Ghana must go of money that he received? And he stopped shedding Buhari. When Buhari contracted him, he said it with his own mouth that Buhari contracted him. To go and walk even in the north. So, did he act in the. This is the explains it all. When he was advising Good Luck Ebele Jonathan to do this, he was a masking Good Luck Ebele Jonathan to his own destruction, not knowing that he had signed agreement with Buhari regime that once he take over, that he is going to go for peacekeeping everywhere, that he is going to be recognized. How did Buhari come to come to the creek, and uh, what happened? What transpired between you and Buhari? If truly that uh, what you are showing us in the media is the truth, that you hated Buhari, how come you, Buhari came to you in secret, and you still act that you hated Buhari? Buhari went to him, according to him. They signed a deal to the north and to bring a break IPOB. This same um, Asari de Kubo. This same um, Asari de Kubo. Buari, the Buari that he was calling all sorts of names. When Asari de Kubo started countering IPOB members, Asari de Kubo said that Buari himself reached out to him. They did an agreement that he was working in the north and in the east. So when did that agreement come? It came before he took over. It came before he took over. That was once why he was advising good luck Ebele Jonathan Eoli so that they will amass the good luck Ebele Jonathan to his own destruction. But surprise, surprise, good luck Ebele Jonathan was faster than him. Oshi, Oshi window, window, Oshi way above you. He called Buhari and told him, Oh, congrats. And Asari was informing that he is angry. I have 232 viewers, only 145 hitting the like button. Others oh, in the vote to hit the like button, please. I am a man of Urami Jews, preaching the Holy Gospel. This is Holy Gospel, please. Anything that you do not understand, ask me, and I will tell you. It is a Holy Gospel. So, now, after he worked under Buhari regime, under Buhari regime, but the same Asari Dokubo, before he told you people that he was working under Buhari regime, he was saying that Buhari is sponsoring his king's men to enter into Nigeria and scatter Nigeria, that the Futanjalon Jihadist is coming. 
How do you fix this? The same you alerting us on social media that Buhari have opened border for his kinsmen to come. The same you have said that you have signed agreement to walk in the north with Buhari. So who was opening the border in the north? The same you, Asari. These are the lies that this bloated pig in the creek have told all of you. And because they know, because they know that some of you lack reasoning, they will keep on telling you lies. The lie that they tell you this year, they will tell you the lie next year. They will tell you, and you know, I say for half of you are the men Allah. I say for half of you are the him and him. He walked for Buhari in the north. But then, when Buhari was, when he was shedding Buhari, he was telling you people that Buhari is bringing his king's men, oh, Fulani is trying to take over. Now, according to his recent revelation, Asari, that he worked under Buhari regime, that Buhari gave him contract in the east and in the north. Ask him, if Buhari give you this contract, why we are you raising false alarm that Buhari was opening uh, doors for Fulani to come in? Why? Because you are working under his government as a private military company. Please underline it. He worked as a private military company in the north, which means he has the power to stop the people that he's raising for alarm in the north. But he never stopped them. He only come to social media to cry. Oh, Bugari, oh, Bugari, for him to be original. I want to tell you all these evils that he's saying, oh, Asari de Kubo is uh, identifying with an evil man that Asari de Kubo is playing again on your intelligence because they know that you are stupid. Pardon me, please. I abuse your subconsciousness so that it, uh, I abuse you so that I will raise your consciousness. Because Asari de Kubo knows how to play with your intelligence. The same Asari turned against Tony Ndu in favor of the same Buhari. Because he signed contract with Buhari, he turned against Tony Ndu. So now, that time that Asari Dokubo came to tell you people that uh, the reason why he distanced himself from IPOB is because IPOB pledged allegiance to Jewish community. Why? But not notwithstanding, you know, the same Asari Dokubo, when IPOB placed allegiance to Jewish community, the same Asari did video in support of that allegiance. So now, everything is becoming open that the reason why Asari Dokubo distanced himself from Mazem Namdekanu is because of the contract that he signed with Buhari to go to the East and walk. So you cannot sign contract and then go against your contract. You cannot sign contract and then go against your contract. Now, the same, the same, the same bloated pig in the creek, that old Luku in the creek, I shedded him. I was living in Nigeria, walking everywhere, and I shedded him. What did he do? What did he do? In the same Nigeria that he is, I shedded him. That video went viral. Too many blocks carried it. What did he do? This same bloated pig in the creek. Now, when he, this bloated pig in the creek, went to support Tunubu, and he told everybody, hold me responsible if Tunubu failed. Remember that when he was doing campaign for Tunubu, he started lashing on the Igbos, calling Igbos names. Because of the hatred for the Igbos, he needed to collect more money so that the money will climb. When you show your hatred for an evil man, your money will come up very well. He started lashing on the Igbos, claiming that Igbos claim everything, claiming that Igbos are laying, laying claim to Port Harcourt. Today, even the same Asari Dokuba that said that Igbos are laying claim to Port Harcourt, he's claiming that Igbos own Port Harcourt also. So how did you call... Uh, uh, I am coming to this place. 
do not go away. I am coming to this. The reason why he have run back to the Igbos. I am a man. I owe me just 251 viewers. Only 170 hitting the like button. 79 others are missing. I'm coming to that place. I am coming. The same asari. All these points that I'm making. This same bloated pig. Started shedding the evils. Dream. Dream. Tunungu regime again. He was everywhere. He bl uh, blasted gone. How they will deal with the Igbos. How they will finish Igbos. How they are going to deal with the Igbos. He showed you people gone in his life program. In his life program, he showed all of you gone. That he will use to deal with the Igbos. Decisively. The same Asari. The same Asari then ran to the north. The same people that he claimed to be Futanjangan jihadist. He ran to the north. He recruited them. He showed you people that these are my armies consisting of the same north that he is running away from. From the same north that he called a Futanjangan jihadist. He said that his army is made of uh, this thing. So how do you confuse that? I am getting confused here. How do you how do you fix this? Somebody confusing Ponda in a broad daylight. Ponda is becoming more and more confused in a broad daylight. How do you how do you fix this? After confusing Ponda. Shedin Tunumbu boasted. And because of that, he called for iron of Mazin Namdekano. Asari do Kubo have a church in his farm. He have a church in those you in his farm. Kuna Samuru in his farm. Potakot Barista, Potakot Bole. Barista that was sacked from IPOB. Up to today, he's still bearing the lead council of IPOB. When IPOB claims that Mazen Namdekano is the supreme leader and the lead council is not leading the release of the supreme leader, so which case can the lead council lead? These are how they confuse all of you. They confuse all of you a lot. I am a man of please. They confuse all of you a lot. The lead council. Nigeria is a zoo that it was called because if this were to be in a sane society, a Jofo would be arrested overnight. He had all of them in their palms. He started calling for buying of Onyendu. He started calling for buying of Onyendu. The same Asario. The same Asari before he made it open, he thought that going with Uche before bringing alliance and then assuming the office of what are they calling it? Uh, Biafra customary government will make him relevant and destroy IPOB. When he imagine with Uche before today Uche before and the customary share that they brought on social media have disappeared. The same Okafor have disappeared. Seen all of you. These are the criminals confusing all of you to thunder. Now, let me go. Should I move on, please? Should I move on? After which, they finish confusing thunder and see that the thunder is not shaking. The same Asari called for buying of Onyendu, said that Onyendu should be hanged. That was what Asari said. He was calling openly that Onyendu should be buyed. All of us protested. All of us called him out. 266 years, only 184 hitting the like button. If you have not hit the like button, hit the like button, please. John, David, John, Frank, I see you. The same Asari, the same Asari, 271 viewers. If you have not hit the like button, hit the like button, please. 
the same Asari, when he sees that all his plans are not working, he called for the buying of Onyendu. The same Asari. When he see that those things are not working, now that Tunubu is disappointing him, now that Tunubu has disgraced him, Okuna Beriego run to Tunumbu thinking that Tunumbu will somebody that he can manipulate. Now that he has failed, he ran back to this thing, this nonsense that I'm going to play for you people. This is how they confuse other plays. He ran back to this nonsense that I'm going to play to you people. It seems that it's not... Uh, I'm coming, please. Yeah. The same criminal. He ran back to this thing now that I'm about to play to you people. The jobs and the evils won't make up river state. You can't take us for granted. The river said he was at the line, they are not evils, they are evils. Yeah. How can you really say that I've been? You better say that I've been. What language are they speaking? In any language. What name are they answering? Is it Pungwa? Is this Oka Pungwa? Huh? I don't know what Pungwa means, but I know that is it. Is it like is a boom one? What boom one means? Is a boom one? Is a boom one? Yes, sir. Which is, is it a bad boom one? Hmm? The people that do not know their identity. I'm not a bad man. The throne that I'm sitting now, that you are seeing. The government, so the government is an man from okay. I cannot deny, I might not like the characters of evil people around, but I, I cannot, because of that, reject my evil identity. I have evil blood flowing in my head, I have evil DNA. It's a boom, it's not a bad boom. A bad boom. This is a master of deception. So, those days that he was, uh, because he had been shattered by Tulumbu, and he realized that there is power in, the, in unity. They have divided them. They have used him to say that, uh, I am in job, and he cannot be re relevant without the Igbos. Yes, if he is limited to a job, what will he do? Result into the creek. When the Ibos have entered, when the Ibos is the creek that he is going to pass is the Ibos, how can he operate successfully in the creeks again? He has to use this deception. We are Ibos. That is why he realized that the throne that he is sitting is originated from Ibo, from Aban. Abam in Abia State, Arochuku local government, if I'm not mistaken, somebody have wrote it here and corrected me. Arochuku local government, if I'm not mistaken. That is when Asari Dokubo suddenly know that even the throne that he's sitting is from Igbo. The same person who told you with his mouth that Igbos are claiming everything, that Igbos are laying claim to them that they are Igbos, that they are not Igbos. The same mouth, he is now telling you that even the throne that he sits came from Abam in Abia State. Onya aro chuku, onya aro chuku. Asari Dokubo is an aro man. Chibus or to you people should remind me again, please. His father's name. 
His father's name. Remind me, please. And I heard that Asari was given an Igbo name by birth and was changed. The name was changed during, during the war because of running. People running, running, running. They changed it. That is where he started bearing Dokubo. There was nothing like a Dokubo in his name. The name was a stolen name, a corrupt name. No, there is another name, not a Diabali. There is another name, not a Diabali. Not a Diabali. There is another name that they are bearing. His next to Okoko was nothing like the Kuba. The Kuba, who's a demma? Thank you, who's a demma? This Okoko have nothing like a Doku, 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 or not a Doku. This name Doku is as a result of the war which he, Asari, supposed to say, oh, how can my name be changed because of the war? How can my evil identity be changed because of the war? How can I start bearing another name that I do not understand because of the war? That was the birth of the Kuba. That was the birth of the Kuba. There was nothing like Asari. Asari was a total corrupt name. There was nothing like the Kuba before the war. And after the war, they started bearing the Kuba. Asari, Doku, Asari, do you see how these people confuse thunder? Before the war, they were bearing Igbo name. Before the war, they were bearing Igbo name. 274 live viewers, only 201 hitting the like button. Before the war, there was an Igbo name, and after the war, they ended up Doku, Doku, Asari, Doku, and somebody was answering it. To be doing any via Beleface, when they used him and wanted to dump him, as the same person claimed that Mwike is not an Igbo man, it is there in his video. That Mwiki is not an evil man. The same mouth he used to say that Mwiki is not an evil man. He's now calling Mwiki that Mwiki is an evil man. So how did you work with such a person that you deny you at any given time? Even Yoruba people are better than this one. Yoruba is, uh, is known as with chameleon lifestyle. They are better than this, this particular one here. They are better. More better than him. I am telling you the fact. More better than this particular one. More better. Whichever way you check it, Yoruba is more better than this particular one. That will tell you something tomorrow and shout and open his eyes and tell you that this thing is truth. And the next tomorrow he will still open you his eyes and tell you that thing that he told you that is truth is not true. How did you work with that? I'm doing this program for those who are sharing this nonsense. Sharing this nonsense. This is a complete version of a, of a chameleon. Autopause. Autopause. In your which type of person is this? Which type of person is this? The same person told you people that Igbos are laying claim to Ikwere because Ikwere is they said that Ikwere is speaking Igbo. It is in his video that Igbos are laying claim to Ikwere. Now, nah, the same Asari the Kuba that said that Igbos are laying claim to Ikwere when he knew that Igbos uh, Ikwere are Igbo. The same person is now telling the Ikwere people that you are Igbo. Do you know what he is doing? He is expanding to use more and more people so that when the criminal Nigerian
Nigeria and corrupt the Nigerian government who want to come tomorrow to come and look for somebody to love you, they will come and say, oh, you are a state man. Your voice goes deep. Once you speak, people hear you. As your child, if the Ikwere said that they are not Igbo, they should remain and confuse thunder. They should remain and confuse thunder. How can somebody be hearing and gossip, speak in many, many, in Ikwere language, many, in Ikwere language, Garahuna, Itutana, Ututuoma, in Ikwere language, come out to say that Ututuoma in Igbo and Ututuoma in Ikwere is not the same. Chukwu Emeka in Igbo and Chukwu Emeka in Ikwere is not the same. Ngozi in Igbo and Ngozi in Ikwere is not the same. The same language, the same two rapper, the same AK or the Afro Unquo, the same thing, the same Arab or the same the same thing, the same cap. State, they took courtesy. Now, how can Nigerian government be putting this put? You see that they are playing on your intelligence. Where a man will go under the comment and say, Oh, oh, you put it, it's not in an alien again. But I had that to Okoro Fake called Sabinus saying that he's not an Igbo. That was the day that I, I hands on knowing that this Okoro Fake, this is right for nothing. So these three have run to you people now. 300, wow, 301 viewers. <laughs> then the viewers here. Because the releasing match is alarming. Let us go, please. <laughs> Let us go. They have reduced it. <laughs> I am in my images, please. I am in my images. I pray the undiluted and holy gospel here on this very platform. The same asari. Now the after preaching divide and rule message. Ikwere is not evil. This is not evil. This is not evil. He have realized that Tunumbu have kicked him in the dustbin. And the Igbos will not take him serious again. So he has to run back to start telling you people, oh, the same people that he told you that are not evil, that they suddenly become an evil man. So what do you say? When you be bragging how Mazen Namdekani is going to be pied, you claim that your ancestors pied Igbos. That is the reason why I tell you people, even so, for somebody to lie against his ancestors because of money, Asari Dokubo did a sacrilege in Igbo, not in Igbo history, not in our tradition. It is a sacrilege for you to lie against your ancestors. It is a blasphemy, a sacrilege. Asari Dokubo did a sacrilege. He lied against his ancestors. He said that his ancestors died Igbo people. That was what he said. He said that his ancestors died Igbos. And he's not an Igbo man. That his ancestors finished Igbos. That was what he said. That he's not an Igbo man. He brought this thing and asked that his ancestors were selling us into slavery. Yes, if he, Asari the Kubo's father was a slave trader, I will definitely tell you here, now it is true. Asari the Kubo's ancestor was a slave merchant from Aro in Abia State. Yes, he was a slave merchant. And how does somebody like that brag? You, you sell your own human being for money. And the same thing, the same blood, nothing changed. Asari do Kuba can, can accept anything because of money. He can accept anything because of money. Asari Dokubo can testify the goodness of Satan because of money. Asari Dokubo can even be a PA to the devil 
because of money. Because of money. Asari Dokubo lied against his own ancestors that they buy the Igbos. What he should have said is that his ancestors was a slave trader, not buying the Igbos, because his ancestors was Igbo. That was what he is supposed to say. Asari Dokubo's ancestors was a slave trader from Arochuku. The same way Aaron D. Zorgon, Zorgon, Mazi Zorgon, was a slave trader from Aro, Arochuku. That is the reason why they are Aaron D. Zorgon. The same way Aros settled in Delta State, those people calling themselves Delta, Delta Igbo, they are from Aro. All those nonsense from Delta Igbo, from Delta Igbo, who is as a chairman? The Aro people, we are very many. Aros, we are a very large kingdom. Aro kingdom. It was a very large kingdom. Most powerful kingdom in Igbo land. Aro kingdom. And one of the last place that Britain, the Britain conquered everywhere, but in Aro, they fought many years, many years, you see 30 something years, in order to penetrate Aro. If I'm not mistaken, correct me please, I am open to correction. If I'm not mistaken, they fought for many years in order to conquer Aro. Many people that you see today, the Arab people even settled in, in what are they calling them? In Upper Bini. They went to Upper Bini. Arab people, Arab. I have listened to somebody, Mazidibia, uh, saying that Igbos and Yorubas are the same. That only by the same lineage, but that is a corrupt version. I love that young man's teaching. The people that he is referring to that settled in Ibu Ibuzo are the same Arab people. We are they we are striving for their slave trading. Am I teaching here? Go and do your research. If you know anybody that can teach you history, please. And don't come to me to cry because you are ignorant of the history. I thought that primary threat doesn't make it that I'm an illiterate. I listened to him when he was preaching it and I laughed. <laughs> I said, oh, this young man is getting corrupt version. It was this Ibo Ibuzo Ibo what Ibo Ibo this in Yoruba. It was the arrows that settled there during their slave trade. Any mere slave, because they were warriors, brave warriors. If the arrows are coming, when you hear their leg, you run away. That was the reason why the Benin Empire, for them to become successful, hired too many arrows. Too many arrow people served in Benin Empire. Too many Arab people served in the Benin Empire, including in the native doctor, in terms of spirituality and in terms of defending the Benin Empire. They hired too many soldiers from Arab. So when I listen to the Benin people saying, Oh, about 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 I'm not a please, please pardon me, I'm not going against your own tradition. I'm not going against your tradition. Then they will say that Bini was a very strong distant kingdom. They should give courtesy and credence to the Arab people. Arab soldiers in Benin, we are many. And that is the reason why even in the distant, there are mixed blood everywhere. That was the reason why they started the Apiamu. Onye yane echekwa princess, Apiamu, ana bohadim pa Bini. You should ask, where did they buy even the slaves that they used there? They bought it from Arab people.
Am I communicating, please? Am I communicating? Let me leave that area. Let me leave that area. So, Asari Dokuba's ancestor was from Bili. I mean, please. <laughs> was from Aro. Not Bili, please. Asari Dokuba's ancestor was from Aro. I know that these criminals will cut this very place. Because they are looking for where to blackmail Emane Oremijus. Asari Dokubo's ancestors, we are from Aro. And as of other slave traders, yes, his father was a slave trader who settled in the place that they are today. Because they were capturing people from that area. That is the easy as is that they sell their slaves to the white men. But the same person who came from Aro told you, oh, my name is now Dokubo. Oh, some Igbos are corrupt, but you are an Igbo man. You should be ashamed of yourself. If I were to be a Sari Dokubo, I will be ashamed of myself. You know when your name as a human being, that my ancestors have to run away because of they, they should not keep by them. They run away rejecting their identity. Why are we trying to go back to our identity today? It is because the white man came with the Bible and gone. With the Bible and gone. Go and do your research about Christianity in India. The people that call themselves Christian, that is now crying, Oh, Islam is going to buy us, Islam is going to buy us. This thing that Islam is doing was what they did in India. They buy a lot of Indians. Go and read history. Once you read history, if I, I challenge you, if you read the book of John or Matthew again, let me know. Go and read history. The missionaries, I'm telling you, the Christian missionaries in India, the people that claim to be Christians, they went to India with guns and bullets. Do you want to accept Christianity or not? This same thing that Islam is doing, and that is the reason why I tell people, if, even if Islam take the whole world, another religion is coming to wipe it away. Christianity come. Today is Islam not wiping Christianity. And after they finish, look at it. For me to tell you that even if Islam take, a, take every world, another religion, Hello, my wonderful people. As we have finished watching this interesting video, please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video, and remain blessed.